benches. I don't, uh, like I know people who were actually poor at the time of Shaw, and they were super mad at the time that Shaw uh, is being so much oppressed uh, with his own luxury stuff and silently silencing the opposition. And we can't blame those people being mad at the time at the time. But the same people who were mad and poof at at that time right now are much more poor and mad uh, sanchez i agree with you like there was a huge double cross by the regime right now of the rest of the people that were involved that got together to overthrow the shah right so they kind of changed their mind in most cases and forgave the man being uh, sanchez and just to fill you guys in um in iran the revolution in Iran that got rid of the Shah, it wasn't just the Islamic revolution. It wasn't just the mullahs and stuff like this, right? It, the Ayatollah was in France, given, given safe harbor by uh, France, right? Just later waiting to come and take over, right? Um, according to, you know, as soon as the West was ready to get rid of the Shah, right? But the Islamic people work together with the communists with the socialists with the unions and stuff like this to overthrow the shah everyone was promised a seat at the table but then after the uh the the regime change happened there were about i think within the year year and a half um year, within two years anyway there were like three hundred thousand people that were targeted and assassinated and killed and there was a mass purging that happened afterwards in the Islamic uh, sect, sec, which was the largest part of it, huge part of it, with huge control, took over, right? Uh, because the Shah was the Shah of Iran was mo the the number enem, number one enemy of the Shah of Iran at the time was he considered it to be communist. He didn't realize that the West was cancer that was or his puppet masters really right 